Hey YouTube and thanks for watching Junk Works Garage. Well, I wasn't even going to do this video because it was so simple, but um, when I went to pull this off, I realized it's a little bit more difficult than I thought to some extent. And this lid, so when you turn it, you go to a certain spot and there's an opening right here. And it's really difficult to get off. You just got to kind of wiggle it back and forth. And when I pulled this thing off, it was full of sand and junk and gunk, so I have cleaned it out the best I can. Um, hopefully we don't have any problems. And uh, part of the reason why I'm doing this as well is because I've done every other fluid in this thing. And, and at least checked them all and did it on video, so I thought I'd show you this one as well. Now a couple caveats. Uh, I believe I need to do a brake job, so therefore I probably should do that instead of this and second because I'm doing this it'll probably make my brake job a little more difficult and the reason it's going to get diff more difficult when I go to change the brakes is because when you add to it um, as soon as I push in on that piston it's going to want to overflow I've actually done that in a car before not thinking about it change the brakes not too long after I put brake fluid in and the brake fluid spilled out of the top of the the reservoir and all over the place so you're going to want to if once you go to do your brakes um pull some of this back out now with that yet again i'm using super tech you can argue amongst yourselves whether it's good bad or otherwise it's budget and it works and this is dot four works to dot four specifications and you need dot four in this particular rig it says do not use dot three it could overheat your brakes there we go just putting a little bit in there to fill it up to max yet again when i go to do the brakes i'm gonna have to remember to pull it back out and it's simple as that so it's a very simple job make sure these are lined up with the there's a, a spot here and a spot over here that it pushes down into. I clean that up with a little bit of alcohol and a rag. Um, so that's what I did. Hopefully that'll get me through until I get the brakes completely done on this thing. Keep an eye out for that video as well. All right, I think that's all I'm gonna do. Now get out there and get your junk working. Thanks for watching Junk Works Garage, where I'm proud to say I'm a jack of all and master of none. You all have a good one.